Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the difference between prime code, tag code, and seal code. So let us first of all discuss the properties of uh, prime code. So prime code is a coating that is provided over a non-bituminous surface, right? That is a GSB layer when a coating of uh, uh, of the uh, low viscosity as asphalt is provided over a non-bituminous layer that is a GSB layer to act as an adhesive between the bituminous layer and the GSB layer. That coating is called as the prime coat. All right. So the purpose of prime coat is uh, that it act as an addition between the bituminous layer and non-bituminous layer. Apart from that, prime coat also act as a waterproofing layer. So in case the water percolates from the bituminous course and it uh, tries to reach the non-bituminous layer of the pavement, then this prime coat prevents that entry of water into the non-bituminous course. Right, so that is the purpose of prime coat. It acts as an adhesive between the bituminous cores and non-bituminous cores, and uh, it also acts as a waterproofing layer. Now, what are the materials that are uh, used for the prime coating? So, on all, we use a uh, low viscosity asphalt. So, we can use a uh, cationic bitumen emulsion of slow settling type, normally SS1 grade or medium curing type. We can also use the cutback bitumen, right? So uh, these are the materials that are used for as a prime coat. Now, next is the uh, rate of application. Now, if we are uh, applying the bituminous emulsion coat over a WMM or WBM uh, base layer, then the rate of application is 0.7 to 1 kg per meter square. If the uh, this prime coat is being applied over a soil stabilized base, then the rate of application varies from 0.9 to 1.2 kg per meter square. So this is in case we are using emulsion. If we are using cutback bitumen of let's say MC grade 30, then the rate of application is uh, 0.6 to 0.9 kg per meter square over the WMM or WBM base course, right? And in case we have the soil stabilized base then this rate is 0 0.9 to 1.2 kg per meter square. The thickness can uh, vary from 50 to 80 microns depending upon the uh, uh, the cleanness of the pavement surface available. Uh, now, what are the methods of application? So, if you are using emulsion, uh, then the GSB layer can be slightly damped, right? And we don't need water for the addition. And if we are using cutback bitumen, then uh, surface has to be fully dry, right? So these are the methods of application, right? So if we have emulsion, then the, uh, a slight dampness is permitted. But in cut, uh, if we are using cutback bitumen as the prime coating, then we need to have a uh, fully dry base course. Okay, so this is your prime coat. So this is uh, as we have discussed that the prime coat is applied over a uh, non bituminous surface so here we can see this is a non bituminous gsb layer over which the prime coating is been applied and over that we will uh, layer bituminous base coats layer and the surface coats layers right so this is a prime coat layer being applied through the sprayer method next we have the tag coat so again uh, discussing on the same property that is the purpose material rate of application and the application method so first of all what is tag coat so tag coat is a thin luminous layer again of low viscosity bitumen that is uh, applied so as to improve the bonding between two bituminous layer right so when we apply a coating so as to improve the bonding between an old uh, bituminous and a new bituminous layer then that coating is called as tag coat right so the purpose is that it helps to provide bonding between two bituminous layer and therefore it also improves the quality of the pavement right it prevents degradation of road by keeping two bituminous layer together 
now what are the materials that are uh, used for the tag coating so again uh, if you are using emulsion we we can use rs grade 1 emulsion or if we are using bitumen then we can use uh, low viscosity bitumen of vg grade 10 or rc 10 coat normally low viscosity bitumen are used when uh, the conditions which are below freezing point now talking about the rate of application if bitumen emulsion is used for the application of tag coat now again point should be remembered that for tag coat we are using rs grade 1 while for uh, prime coat we are using uh, ss grade 1 type of bitumen emulsion right so the rate of emulsion uh, rate of application in terms of uh, if we are using bitumen emulsion will be 0.2 to 0.3 kg per meter square right uh, and if the granule surface is treated with the primer then this rate of application is 0.25 to 0.35 kg per meter square and if uh, the tag coat is to be applied for a cement concrete pavement then the rate of application is 0.30 to 0.35 kg per meter square if we are using a uh, low viscosity grade bitumen then the uh, rate of application is 0.3 to 0.4 kg per meter square uh, for uh, granular surface layer treated with the primer the rate of application will be 0.35 to 0.45 and for cement concrete payment the rate of application can vary from 0.4 to 0.5 kg per meter square now again uh, talking about the method of application if a, if the rs grade 1 bitumen emulsion is used for applying the tag coat then the uh, spraying is done in between the temperature of 20 to 70 degrees celsius right and in case we have the low viscosity between vg10 then uh, the viscosity of two poise is achieved and then the laying of the tag coat is done right so here in the image we can see we have already a pre-existing uh, bituminous layer and over this the coating is being applied and above that uh, the new bituminous layer will be constructed okay so this is your tag coat now talking about the seal coat now seal coat is a protective layer that is applied over the surface right in uh, the coating that is applied over the uh, surface course is called the seal coat now again the purpose of applying the seal coat is that first of all it prevents the degradation of pavement surface and therefore it extends the life of the pavement right now talking about the material uh, basically we can have two variety of uh, seal coating uh, again the, uh, the difference is the quality of the material that we are using right so we have type a seal coat or also called as the liquid seal coat and basically when we use ag uh, ag aggregates of normal size of 6.7 mm uh, that is passing length 0.2 mm and retained at 2.8 mm then this type of aggregate when we use is called as type a seal coat or liquid seal coat type b seal coat are called as uh, are also called as pre-mixed seal coat now these are aggregate that are uh, passing 2.36 mm and are retained at 0.18 mm sieve right and uh, the bitumen binder that is used basically we can have the bitumen of penetration grade 80 to 100 60 to 70 or 30 to 40 penetration grade bitumen which is equivalent to vg10 v30 and vg40 respectively now uh, the talking about the rate of application for type a uh, the rate of application will be, be 0 0.09 meter cube of fine aggregate per 10 meter square right and uh, basically this uh, seal coat is applied over a uh, pre-mixed carpet right so uh, this type a seal coat is applied over a pc layer right if you talk about the type b seal coat the rate of application will be uh, 0 0.06 meter cube per 10 meter square area of the uh, prepared uh, PC layer right and over that we provide the seal coating now uh, talking about the application method for type a basically once we have uh, 
lay down uh, the layer of premixed carpet then uh, the heated bitumen is sprayed at the rate of 9.8 kg per meter square and above that we put up uh, we spray uh, or we put up the layer of, of uh, this aggregate size gradation right and then the rolling is done so first of all uh, we have the pc layer and over that we spray the bitumen any of these grade and then uh, spread the aggregates of uh, of normal size 6.7 that are passing at uh, uh, passing the length point 2 mc and are retained at 2.8 mm and after uh, sp spreading them the rolling is done the, talking about the application method for type b bitumen and fine aggregates are heated separately then they are mixed together right that's why these are uh, pre mixed uh, seal coat that is they are already mixed right they are already mixed and then you know uniformly sprayed over the uh, over the pavement surface and then the rolling is done so this is the application method for the seal coat all right so these are a few of the differences between each layer right and again in uh, as we can see here we have the uh, the surface coats and over this we provide a seal coat right this is the surface coats and then to improve the quality of the pavement we provide a seal coat all right so this is the seal coat right so if we uh, combine them so we have the uh, non bitumenous base coats over that we uh, first of all provide a binder uh, sorry we provide a prime coat and then we have the bitumenous surface right uh, binder coats and uh, to ensure that the two binder surfaces bind together perfectly uh, we provide a tack coat and then we have the surface coats and then uh, to ensure surface course is strong and durable we to improve that we provide the seal coat right so this is your seal coat so these are the different uh, type of coating that is applied over the flexible pavement okay so i hope uh, with this short video uh, it is very clear what is the difference between prime coat tag coat and seal coat okay so if you feel the video was useful to you make sure you like the video and uh, do consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this and uh, to gain knowledge about the other uh, subjects related to civil engineering and uh, do press the bell icon for the regular notification okay uh, thank you so much for watching the video have a nice day